I wouldn't say they put their country down. I would say they confirm what is happening in that country. So I am super grateful. This video is inspired by this beautiful lady. Thank you so much. This is an honest YouTuber rare to see in Nigeria her type is not common but all I can see in that lady's video and her voice is this pure innocence pure unbiased she's just giving her unbiased opinion her sincere experience is what she's sharing in the video hi everyone you are welcome back to my youtube channel but if you are new here hi there my name is lily and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always tuning in to watch my videos today we are on to another reaction video before i play some clips for you in the video don't forget to like this video and please if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification put it on that one that says all so that anytime i drop a video you'll be notified right so <laughs> why am i laughing a lot you guys um i, I want to react to this video i stumbled on on youtube I've stated here before that anytime i'm reacting to a video it has nothing to do with the person that made these videos it has everything to do with the video that i'm reacting to i don't know if you get it it's not coming from a good place it's not coming from a bad place it's not coming from any form of emotion basically unbiased opinion of mine with that being said let me leave you to some of the clips and i will be back to give my unbiased unapologetic opinion <laughs> so keep on watching she's a nigerian content creator based in a new anambra state of nigeria wow actually about things happening in nigeria the cost of living in nigeria mm. is so high very high like seriously yeah wow cost of is very high Example, if you buy something today mm. let's say 10 naira by next week, it is going to increase. Like something is not even decreasing. Mm. It is increasing. I have, I have reduced the way I do my travel flow mm -hmm. because of the security, the insecurity we have here. Mm. Like, no protection. You are on your own. On your own. Mm. Do you understand? That is the slogan. You are on your own. Mm. If anything will happen to you, the government will not even pay attention. Mm. They will not even give any listening ear mm. to your cry. Do you understand? Mm. So, I have reduced the way mm. I am doing my travel vlog no. stuff on my channel, if you've checked, because of the insecurity. How do you carry your camera, mm. you know, put it up to vlog and tell people what's happening? Wow. The next thing that you will see, someone will just like stop to harass you, yes. harass you. Like, so, this lady is a Nigerian living in Nigeria. She's a content creator. She did a collaboration with another YouTuber, just like you see in the video. The other YouTuber lives in Ghana. They had a hangout, which is very common with us content creators. We love it. It's a dream come true for, you know, both parties. So they had that, and then she said that in the video, confirming that Giant of Africa is not a safe country for content creators and you'll be wondering okay so what is that like is that a news lily that ninja is not safe for people yes to me is a news it's like a shocking one to me because why would it be a news i mean it's it's a news to me because I, like you all know that I do not live in Nigeria, right? I live abroad. Yes, I live abroad. I live in Ghana and from time to time I do visit Nigeria and before I moved to Ghana, I have lived in Nigeria, almost every part of Nigeria. I can tell you and I can categorically tell you what to expect. Any part of Nigeria you are going to, I can tell you what to expect and that is it. I used to like give my own years honest response here about my feelings living in ghana and my feelings living back in my country and i used to basically talk about the peace in ghana because we are still studying this piece we are trying to know where and how Ghanaians generate this piece so that we can put it to use yeah when i do these videos or basically interviewing someone that is living in ghana i will get nigerians from this same part of nigeria where this lady is from coming to attack me hey you are a mumu you want to say nigeria okay i used to be bothered like did they watch the video even though sometimes i understand there is no electricity the batteries are not fully charged <laughs> 
because I, I was there, I know what's up. You know, living in Nigeria, you have to, if you want to be everywhere fighting this social media war. Yeah, I'm like, okay, maybe, did I watch the video or basically it's coming from a place of what? Like, I don't get it. Now, this is a confirmation that these people, these people where this lady is from, you can see her comment section and the comment section of the person that owned that video is all clean. No problem. Nobody is complaining. She who lives in Nigeria confirmed that women, okay, basically, let me leave women. She is confirming that content creators are not safe in Nigeria. You are not free to express yourself and all that. That is strange to me because, man, I'm free to do my thing here in Ghana. The worst that can happen to me here is someone telling me, don't film there or I'll see a signpost written, no pictures and stuff, and I'll walk away, right? But in her case, she went further to say this. So now, let me play that clip, and I'll be back again. I understand I have produced the live because of the security, the insecurity we have here. Like, no protection. You are on your own. Do you understand? That's the slogan. You are on your own. If anything will happen to you, government will not even pay attention. They will not even give any listening ear to your no cry. Do you understand? Mm. So, I have reduced the way I am doing my classes vlog. No. So that is what she said, they, they will harass you, they will attack you, they will do all sort of things. But that is not the shocking part for me because of course we know that in Nigeria all things are possible, all form of insecurity, name them, rapisty, ritual killing, just name everything that you can name, especially against women, is very high. But the shock for me is that a Nigerian, I mean the people that owns Nigeria, one of them is confirming in this video and the comment section is so clean why why is that where are these people powerful and the powerful owners and the real legitimate the the real nigerians where are they like everybody is okay because this lady is from their region yet when i do my videos talking about my love for ghana how i feel here they will come and attack me let me <laughs> let me know use attack they will come and attack me you know <laughs> and in all of this my heart is so broken but the truth is my heart is not broken i just want to say thank you ghana and ghanaians thank you so much for making me the number one youtuber in ghana the most successful youtuber in ghana the one and only lily of the valley the mama of them all they are master they are master seriously it's only jealousy i mean the alpha and omega the lily of the valley the the pro the got herself like the best the greatest of them all you know because if it's not so why will somebody leave all those people that makes videos about their country you know confirming i wouldn't say they put their country down i would say they confirm what is happening in that country people will not talk about them they will leave them and come to me that is because they are envious of me thank you so much Ghanaians and ghana for placing me this high for making me a nightmare for making me the envy of them all ah oh, la la so they all tune in to see my video so that they can find fault even when there is no fault they'll create one so i am super grateful i this video is inspired by this beautiful lady thank you so much lady but, um some of you know where you can find the full video if you want right you know where to find it you can go for it okay the streets of youtube and look for the complete video and view it yourself this is an honest youtuber very rare to see in nigeria her type is not common but all i can see in that lady's video and her voice is this pure innocence pure unbiased she just giving her unbiased opinion her sincere experience is what she's sharing in the video but the shocking part for me remains that nobody is complaining all these people all of them that usually come on my channel to attack me or let's say to attack me because i am no longer in nigerian to attack me i didn't see them at the comment section of these people rather when you see them there they will be applauding ah you are doing well my brother you are doing well my sister but when i hmm? 
but when I, an Ogocha girl, intelligent babe, smart babe, when genuinely they do her thing, when I do my videos, when I maybe go to a school in Ghana, and because it's incredibly beautiful and I film it, put it out here, these people will come and start attacking on their mothers and start laying courses on their kids. Like, it's just so amazing. So it's only jealousy that can do this. So thank you, Ghana, for picking me, a girl from the village, a girl with nothing, a girl with no money. My parents are both farmers. I mean, my, par my, my parents, I will say my mother. Okay, my mother is a farmer and I was born in my village, raised in my village. Um, there was no place for me in Nigeria because basically I come from there yeah there okay so i left nanja i came to ghana you guys picked me up and placed me up there i am now the a nightmare i mean i am their problem there is no video that i would do that they will not have a problem with when i do a video saying it as it is they will be angry when i do a video not talking about them they will be mad so it's only jealousy and nothing tribalism mm? jealousy tribalism and they wish they have what i have basically they wish they have what i have because they keep telling me you are selling uh, nigeria you're selling now someone is confirming the truth someone that lives in nigeria just confirm the truth that insecurity in nigeria if i want to go on and on she talked about the cost of living how it has skyrocketed how living in nigeria is hell she said it so you can go to you can search for the full video and watch it but seriously don't ask me where you can find the video because i don't know i saw it on youtube here so you see thank you so much ghana and Ghanaians, mm, for picking me i think this country spiritually knew that i would be needing the success more than any other person because i come from a place where i they want to force me to be lonely and voiceless but just look at them they can't the more they try to silence me the more they try to suppress me the more they try to bring that spirit of oppression from nigeria the more they try to bring it the more i go up and up and up and up I cannot thank you guys enough god bless you all my subscribers those in america my subscribers from america i know i have a lot of black americans viewing this video viewing my channel i have a lot of americans watching my videos but majority of the people that have majority of the people that have contributed immensely to the success that have made me the envy and nightmare of of some nigerians are Ghanaians, and i want to say thank you all right so now i had other videos that i wanted to make but i had to keep that first and do this one and now that this is made let's go and continue from there so guys i'm signing out i will see you guys in my next video bye thank you <laughs> ah god